Chapter 4 The Half Built House Listen to the story about a group of children who had an adventure. The Chitnis children were enjoying their summer holidays with their grandmother, Alpana Chitnis. Grandma's farm was an exciting place for Atharva and Neha and their cousins, Disha, Dhruv, and Dev. The children always had plenty to do outdoors. Climb trees, go swimming, fly kites, or just play football in the open meadow, and sometimes have an adventure. Let us go and explore the bamboo grove after tea today. It will be nice and cool in the evening, said Atharva, who was 11 years old. He was the oldest, so he decided what everyone would do. Dave, the youngest, was just eight, but he would always say, I can look after myself. Be careful there, children, said Grandma. Yes, Grandma, we will be careful, we promise, said Atharva. The children got onto their bicycles. It was five o'clock in the evening. On the way to the bamboo grove, they noticed a house only half built. What a nice place to play hide and seek, said Disha, who was almost the same age as Atharva. Let's play here. We will not go to the bamboo grove. But what if there are mad dogs there? asked Neha jokingly. Then only Disha and I will go in first. We will see if it is safe to play there, said Atharva. The other children were eager for an adventure. They waited at a distance for the two older children to give the sign that all was fine. But they were taking long. Minutes passed. The three waiting children were getting impatient. They decided to go and find out for themselves what was happening. Just then, Atharva and Disha came running back. Quick, let us get back to Grandma's house at once, said Atharva. We shall tell Dad right away what we saw, said Disha. And what did you see, asked Dev, curious to know what had happened in the half-built house. When the children reached Grandma's house, they were surprised to find Disha's father Inspector Chitnis already there. Dad, Dad, said Disha excitedly. You will never guess what we discovered. Do you remember those pictures of the three wanted criminals that we had seen in your office? Those three men are here. They are in that half-built house. Atharva and I saw the men in the back room. Yes, those men almost caught us. But we hid behind two empty drums, said Atharva. And one man said to the others, Oh, it is just a cat somewhere. The two children laughed. But that was dangerous, children. Grandma cried out in alarm. Oh, Grandma, but they had an adventure, said Dave. We had a feeling that those crooks were somewhere here, said Dad. So, I drove down to your grandma's farm. I must call headquarters and tell them to send a police patrol at once. You did the right thing, children. Well done. A little later, the police patrol arrived. Atharva and Disha asked if they could accompany the officers. The officers said they could, but only if they would obey instructions. The two children eagerly accompanied the policeman to the half-built house. Very quietly, the four policemen and the children approached the room. Then, quick as lightning, the police burst into the room and got hold of the three crooks and handcuffed them. More officers arrived and the crooks were taken away. The chief officer was very pleased. 
Good work, children, he said. 